Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Channel. Today I'm going to show you a new update of Plane 2 MOT and a new tool called SAQ. Uh, um, Plane 2 SAQ, I mean. This is the second major update to Blend 2 MOT and probably the, f the last one. I have changed a lot of things, so stay tuned. I will cover the changes on Blend 2 MOT and the new Blend 2 SCQ. So, the first change is the way you install the Aiden. It will be a zip file. You select it, install Aiden. And once it's completed, you will remove this last bit and oh shit, blend to MOT, and these will pop up. Let's enable all of them. And the second major change is that a setup for a dot bones file and the C sharp version of blend to MOT is no longer needed. That means you just need to install the Aiden and enable the other Aidens and you are done. Now the new panel will look like this. Collapsible in three categories. Setting flags, settings and utility. The settings will have the MOT loops property. The utility is the same as before and the setting flags. Well, the setting flags will set up how the curve will behave. For example, the flag of the IQ switch for the legs is, in this case, 1, 0, 0, 0. And then it will modify only the positions, if I want only the positions, check all the positions or all the rotations or all the scales or if, or if you want just one property just position and etc well let's see this in action let's import a MOT in blend to MOT this is a new change now you import the MOTs from here the good thing is that now you can batch import MOTs and you don't need the program to keep loading them, it will just load them. Great. Let's check on the top sheet. Alright, all of them got imported. Now, the toggle foot rig will work on the flag curve because the foot rig is actually a flag of the animation. Just double click the toggle and it will be it will show up right here if you want to add a custom flag if you are doing for research purposes you can just go here and put any value you want and here it is you can also remove the flag you just created if you wanna all right great you can research with this one now here on settings it has the more general settings, like the MOT loops, check this if the animation loops. Now add precision movement. On the last version, you just had a checkbox saying if the animation will have precise movement. The bad part about it is that when you activated that uh, uh, option, all of the bones and all of the curves will have the precision movement which is not good because they do take a lot of storage in a DAT and it's no good so I made it like this now you will add a precision movement if you want for a channel or a curve channel for example if you, you have the bone one the only the positions are animated if you want these positions to have the precision movement you go in here and here and all positions and then now you have the precision movement to bone one to all positions 
else you can delete it you can add to all of the properties like the position rotation and scale but since I don't want the precision movement on my animation I'll just uncheck it and this tab is the same thing you can delete only the X location or of the locations or of the rotations or you can decimate the curves to make it weight less on the file the same thing the higher the cleanup factor the more it will clean up but the more unfaithful for the original animation it will be you know the drill and for exporting the animation it's the same thing you export and export it will have some basic settings right here it will well actually I forgot to uh, to disable those but this is a movement threshold it will it's the threshold to convert a single pose to a quantized pose anyways if you don't know what that is just leave it like it is it's it works well that's all for blend to MOT now I'll show you the blend to SCQ my new two you go in here and this time it's not a zip it's just a Python and you don't need to set up anything here it's alright now there's a SAQ tab you have some options you can import an SAQ file from somewhere let me uh, get a good animation to test so I will import the SAQ from, S from MOT 590 so let's try to find it here. I guess it's this one now it's imported to show it up you select this one this checkbox and when you check it it will show all of the active events so the ones that are aren't being shown here it's because it's not currently active so how can I view this click on this so you can see the SEQ file have all of these events right here. The ones on highlight are the ones that are being currently active. This one in, the, in that case. See? It works like that. If you don't, uh, if you want to delete, just click on the delete this event button. And now it has no events at all. And now you can also do a clear SAQ event if you wanna. What this will do? This. Simply it will delete all of the SAQ events. And now to add new events. This is a good one. The time multiplier. The time multiplier is the event that controls the speed of the animation by multiplying it. What I mean is simple. Let me show you. Let's say I want this event to play from frame 0, which is the one I'm currently on, until frame 15. So that means from frame 0 to 15, this event will be executing. And now, what is this? It's simple. The speed event will control the multiply speed of the animation. What do I mean? It means that if the value is 1, the animation will play on the normal speed. If the multiplier value is 2, the speed of the animation will be twice as normal. If the multiply value is 0.5, the animation speed will be as twice slower. And go on, go on. You can view this by going in here, yeah, in here, going to time stretching and setting the old value to 200. 
You can see it's as twice as fast now. This is the same as setting to 2 on the 10 meter play. What about 400? Yeah, it's 4 times as fast. Same thing as setting as 4. What about if I set to 50? Slower, huh? It's the same thing as 0.5. So it's twice as slow and so on. Play sound. This is a bit tricky because all of the audio files are on memory so that means you have to find the right sound index you're looking for you have to document or something like that to find the correct values so let's say um, jeans haha <laughs> sound is on index 200 and something that means you will go in here and go and put 200 in here I want this I want this to play on frame 35 so you put in here 35 and so on meta events this will control um, some things of the animation but it can also control bones and that's why I put it as meta events so you know about the event start and event and event end you already know how it, this works value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4 each one of those change from DT to DAT so you will have to figure these out by yourself again yeah uh, sadly I can't do much about it each one has a different value for example gene on value 2 if you set it to 8 the uh, the gene skirt will have the windy effect if you put value 1 to 1 the hitbox of the SEQ will show up and so on so on so on you will have to find these values sadly and the, for the final one the effect the effect event will spawn an effect attaching it on a bone so I will explain some fields of it the first field will tell how the effect will be executed so should the ve should the effect stop after the animation finishes or should it not stop at all what I mean is should the effect di uh, disappear right in the moment the MOT ends or the effect should not stop at all if you don't want the effect to stop you just set it here but uh, you need to take caution of this because some effects have loop so if you set it to don't stop the effect will be playing forever so take the note of this all right I'll set it to uh, stop after the animation ends in which frame I wanted it to spawn you already know the effect index this will tell which effect you want to spawn for example um, the one that shakes the screen and that stuff you set it to some index you will have to figure this out again attach effect this is the bone that the effect will be attached on which means I want the effect to be attached on, attached on this bone right here so I will select this bone and add it right here it automatically it automatically refreshes so I want on bone 24 24 if I wanted on to spawn on bone 3 bone 3 and so on so on so on spawn quantity this is how many effects it will spawn once the event starts what I mean with this is let's say the game has a debris effect how many debris particles you want it to spawn if you only want one debris particle set it to one if you want 10 uh, debris particles you put it to 10 and so on so on so on 
After this, you click on Add Event, and you see I've put it on frame 32. So here, great. It's right here. And after that, you just export it, and that's really it. I hope you have enjoyed this. Is um, uh, it's a well, the update took a long time to do. I've had some troubles on the path, but it's right here for you. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe to keep me doing this crazy stuff. I hope you liked again. See ya next time. Bye bye. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. If you want to test me, I'll show you fine that the things I teach you, I'll show you to beat you. Nevertheless, you get less of a teacher now, kid.